welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is tiang if you didn't know that already and today the fro is out in its full glory <laughs> you know like i'm really excited i don't wear my hair like this ever actually no i don't mind so today's video we're just going to be talking this is the hashtag teal talks and we're going to be talking about hair and 4c hair and natural hair and hair and black girls and etc 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 so i really wanted to talk about this because obviously my hair has been blown out and it's not like shrunk yet or whatever this is an afro like a full fro like a fro fro a fro 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 <laughs> and I was contemplating, I'm still contemplating it right now because I have class in like two hours and like work later and I'm like, do I go with my hair like this and like I'm having all these like questions in my head when really like I should just be able to walk out of the house like everybody else, like girls who don't have hair like mine, right? But there's so many questions when it comes to my hair and I, I don't know if I'm prescribing to this this ideal of beauty i'm contributing to it i don't know right i like to think that i'm not because when i want to go out like this i can but sometimes i purposely choose not to like i'll either put it up and a pony not a ponytail it's not a ponytail because it's a puff put it up in a puff and you know go mind my business or i'll just slick it down or whatever anything but this and I was like, damn, like, do I not like my hair? Like, what's what's up? Like, do I hate my 4C hair? Like, I know I don't. Like, it's I've done a lot of, like, soul searching to, like, get to the place that I'm even today. Like, I'm a very confident girl. Period. <laughs> like, I'm very confident in, 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 in the things that I do and, like, what I look like. Like, I don't care, like, if I, if I feel like wearing sweatpants and, and freaking heel boots is what i'm gonna wear like and i'm gonna be confident in that because that was my decision so I never wear my hair out like this it's never a question of do i look beautiful because i know i do period like i just have confidence um but sometimes it's it's it for me it becomes a question of oh man i have to deal with all these people like at my job um, I had to deal with people asking, oh my gosh, is that your hair? Is it an, uh, an afro wig? Afro wig? I think not. This is what goes out of my hair. This is, I mean, my head. This is what God intended for me to look like with my hair up, right? So, like, I hate when you have to answer, like, obvious questions when people ask, oh my gosh, is that your hair? Like, is it a wig? I'm a black girl. You see this skin? You see how it glows? I'm black. Of course this is my hair, right? And it's just so annoying, bro. Like, I just hate dealing with people. Um, so there's that. That's I think that's one of the reasons I don't wear my hair out often. And then the second reason is the weather. <laughs> the freaking weather. So I live in Houston, and most of the time, there's just humidity in the air all the time. So, like, I kid you not, like, I'll go... I'll go out like this, right? 20 minutes, and that's a long time. That's like extended. If I'm outside for 20 minutes, it's gonna go and go. Right? And it's just not gonna look how I left the house looking, and that's so annoying. I hate that. But th there's not much I can do with that because that's nature. Like, what am I gonna do? Curse a god? Like, I can't do that. Um, so there's that. So there's like just people and people like are so freaking rude like they're so rude like they don't ask most of the time to touch your hair like don't touch my hair touch my hair like have you not heard salon say that huh <laughs> like don't touch my hair i don't know why people just feel the need to like let me just let me just push your, my hands through it no you can't. I'm sorry. I'm, I am sorry. If you're not me and if you're not my lover, you can't touch it. Sorry. Sorry. You know, so it's 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 finding a balance between those two. And sometimes, like, I really appreciate when people actually ask, hey, like, oh my gosh, your hair is so cool. <laughs> like, can I touch it? Like, yeah, you can, t you can pat it, but don't put your fingers through it. Because first of all, there's oils in there, okay? Do you want oily fingers? So just pat it. And so I really appreciate what people do. In a nutshell, that's mainly why I don't wear my hair. But I think the biggest reason is definitely shrinkage. Um, and sometimes having to explain to people like, oh my gosh, like, 
so I'm in this class and it, we meet like twice a week so like um, I have like hair like I wear my hair in a bun on Wednesday and I won't see them until Monday so that's like four days of course I'm gonna get like corners or whatever and people are just like oh my gosh you have a new hairstyle every day like it's not even a new hairstyle does that make sense like you have new hair every day like okay right and I had this girl who was not a black who had nothing to do with who had no knowledge about it she was like um you know I just want to let you know that changing your hair like that is gonna damage it I'm like first of all you're gonna have totally different textures you you don't know anything about my hair ma'am <laughs> I know like I uh, thanks for your concern but I really didn't ask for your opinion or your two cents keep your two cents take your own advice how about that how about that it's yeah. a whole collective of things but I feel like if if when I do wear my hair out like this I don't ever feel like self-conscious even though people stare and I live in Texas and say they stare and I live in a predominantly um, white neighborhood like there's not a lot of people that walk around like me so people be staring and, and in the beginning it was like you know you, you kind of be like damn like she I have not worn my hair like this but like you gotta look into yourself or you have to know who you or you have to know who you are to like then be you know confident and 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 present and just know who you are basically that's the key like do some soul searching and be comfortable with with who you are because i know some girls that like whenever like their wigs is off or like their weaves are out they like you know wrap their hair not because to protect it or whatever but because they're ashamed and whenever they get their inches like boom all this confidence comes to like this like nah you gotta keep the same energy with whether you look like this or whether you look like this you know what i'm saying like keep the same energy i think that's the problem with today's girls is is because like hair looking like this is not praised all the time so like they feel like whenever they're in their natural state it's not beautiful so they're not confident but whenever they get the inches you you've seen the before and after videos on instagram it's crazy and for me like i can be like that like that like that da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. for me it's, it's like it's like the same like whenever i blow dry my hair like it, it looks big like i'm excited but like whenever whenever i wash it i'm not always excited though I hate shrinkage, bro. I hate shrinkage. But I'm just saying, keep the same energy whether you have your fur or whether you have your inches. How about that? How about that? Huh? Because when you love yourself and your natural state, like nobody can tell you anything. Like, what are you going to tell me that I already don't know? Like, I'm fly. Look at my natural. I'm so exotic. Anyway. I was rambling, but whatever, whatever, it's okay. Uh, so with that being said, I'm about to do my morning routine so I can like go to school and we'll see how I decide to wear my hair. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, so with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Tiange. Follow me on Instagram and I'm Tiange as well as Snapchat and Twitter. It's all the same. I'm Tiange. I'm also selling my closet on Depop, so you can go to Depop. It's an app. Follow I'm Tiong and you can collect a couple of pieces from my closet. How about that? Uh, so yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Deuces. Mwah.